morning. Today we've got the Femi X8SE 2022, the gray edition. And we're out at a place called McGowan Falls in Durham. I'm going to do a waypoint mission down the river and back a little bit. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Okay. Um, let me get it set up and we'll go from there. Okay. Started, I want to show you how we made the waypoints. Okay, we used a little program called Visor. You download the Visor Desktop Edition and you install it on your phone, either Android or iOS. And basically, as long as you have the app on your phone, you don't have to have it running. You just activate the application on your desktop and it screen mirrors your phone, like you see here. Use your mouse to select, to click and drag the map around, to scroll. The only thing you can't do is uh, make the size difference. You have to use your fingers on your phone to uh, zoom in and out. But uh, we're going to go to the map and continue from there once we find where we want to go. Now we're going to park in this parking lot over here. Okay. Stop smucking around. There we go. And we're going to go to this guy. Waypoints. Okay. I'm going to click one waypoint. We're in this parking lot. Our first one's going to be here. Now it's 30 meters. I'm going to put it up to 45. Now I'm going to go to 50. 50 meters is 150. 60 feet. Yeah, well, maybe 55. Okay, 55 meters. Actions on destination. Nothing. Don't want to do anything. That's right. And we'll rotate minimum angle counterclockwise, clockwise. Don't want any of that. Just minimum. Okay, don't worry about that. I'm going to add it. Now we're going to go in a straight line, if we can, to here. Okay, 55, same thing, add. And then we just keep adding waypoints until we're finished. Okay. So hopefully we're going to get the lake and the river in. Okay. And we're just going to go up to this arrow here. So let's see what happens when we get out there. So we're going to save it. And we're going to get out there. And it's saved in the history. We're going to go and fly this and see what we get. Okay. Okay, we've got 12 satellites, and uh, we're going to go up, and I've got everything on auto, basically, uh, 2.7K, 30 frames per second, and it's very bright out, so right now I've got the exposure on zero. When I get up there, I'm going to look, and I've got to get this button up, there we go, oh, oh, we'll put it over there, okay, um, okay. So let's get it up in the air and see what happens. Take off. 97%. It's up. Looking pretty good. Forward. Okay, let's get it up. I might have to put my glasses on to have a look at this one, but we're going to see what happens. I'm going to go up to about 50 meters. Okay, bring that down a bit. Okay, so we're going to hit waypoints. Okay. Let's get out of here and let's just go to the map. 
that's where we're at. We're going to go and look at the satellite. Okay, go back to the map. Go to waypoints. Waypoints, look at history. And I just made one. And I showed you that video earlier. And it's this one here, I believe. Okay, that's the one it is. Okay. Right there. Okay. And what we've got is, we're going to go at 10 meters per second. We're going to go to 5. Okay, just see how long it takes. Okay, and we're going to go in the route. We're going to go continue just in case. And hover at the end, which should be somewhere there. No, we'll go to return to home at the end. Okay, I'm going to go go. Let's see what happens. Okay, and we're going to start the video pretty soon. Once it gets up to where it's going. Let's start the video. Waypoint number one. Is it going to turn? There it is. Let's just start that video. Okay. Five meters per second. Got the timer on about, see how long it takes to go. And we can move the camera up and down. And five meters per second should take five minutes. But we're just gonna see where it goes now. There's not much wind, but it's about minus two, minus three degrees. So we're gonna see where it goes. I was hoping there was gonna be water here for a flowing river, but there's not. So my second part of this might not work out too good. At least we're gonna get the video. And again, this is the Femi X8SE 2022, the gray edition. Now if I decrease or increase it to one, that's what we get. Okay, increase the exposure value to one. That's what we get. I might have to go six meters per second. We're just here, see what happens. It's following the river. Five hundred meters out. And if I run into trouble, I can always exit it, I believe, or force it into a return to home by clicking the button over. I'm hoping. So this is more like a test run to see what it's like. And the exposure is up at one, so it gives us a little bit of detail. I might bring it down a little bit on the next run when I'm taking photos. I might have to go up a little. Yeah, 55 meters, I think that's what I set the other one at. And it seems to be high enough. So that's pretty good. So how are we when we come to the waypoints? That's where it's at. We still get a pretty good camera view. And it's reached number three now. There we go. It's heading to number four. We've maintained connectivity, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing, okay? So this is about my whew, fourth battery charge. So about my eighth flight. I usually get two flights per battery, and I've charged the controller up 
just the one time. So the control is doing pretty good. So it's coming back to where we are. Let's look at the screen again. Okay, and that's what we're looking at. I have to, I think the one might be good. I might go down just to a little bit over because I know it one overexposed I'm not going to get much in the way of the snow detail so maybe just uh, pretty close to zero might be good once it gets over these trees I might uh, change the EV value a little bit and let's see what happens there if I and it's increased increase again it's going to be way too white Three. Yeah, probably three is going to be good. Zero. Three. We'll try that. Minus three. See what happens with there. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. It's coming back to number five, and we're at four minutes and some odd seconds. 78%. That's a good one there. Okay, go back again, have a look. That's where we're at. Yeah, I'll have to increase it a little bit. So it's 75% if we can get this done twice. So is that a little dark? A little dark. It's at zero. Well, maybe we'll just leave it at zero and see what happens. Okay. And for the sake of argument, I think I'm going to stop it when it gets close to me. When you stop the waypoints, it actually does what you programmed it to do. It returns to home in this case. I'm not going to go through the second waypoint mission where I did all the photos. It's the exact same thing and it worked perfectly. I'm going to get into that in another video. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, let's do a wrap up and uh, see where we go from here. Well, that was the flight of the uh, Femi X8 SE 2022. It's a very overcast day. Um, probably not much to look at, but. It performed flawlessly, absolutely flawlessly. Uh, no problems at all. Um, I'll have a look at the video and uh, we'll see what it's like. And I have no complaints, no complaints. It's not, uh, from the last experiment, the pictures in this type of weather are not the greatest. Uh, they're not really detailed. Uh, and the video is not quite as sharp as the Mavic Mini, but uh, a lot better than uh, some of the others I've had. So yeah. So the Femi X8 SE Gray Edition 2022. Um, I, I can't complain. I say it's a little bit of snow falling a little bit, not too bad. It's about minus two, minus four degrees Celsius. So not too bad. Um, if the Femi X8 Mini could handle cold, it would be a real contender. Be a real contender. And if the Xeno Mini, well, yeah, the Xeno Mini SE should do pretty good as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, but for for in the snow or for any headwinds or anything like that, the uh, X8 SE is is the way to go. Okay, well, till next time. That's about it, and I'll let you know what happens with uh, stitching all this together and see what happens after that. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.